first day of fourth quarter to everybody out there. So my name is Jeff Rhodes, and uh, I'm a fifth year media arts teacher here at Phoenix High School. Uh, I've been teaching high school students for nine years in the subjects of social studies and media arts. And my qualifications uh, for essentially running the ICT program of study at Phoenix High School are a master's degree uh, that I received from Western Oregon University in information communication technologies, as well as a uh, Oregon Department of Education issued license in career and technical education for the subject area of information communication technologies. So PHTV is one of the pillar classes of the information communication technology program of study here at Phoenix High School. It is focused around broadcast journalism and it is intended to give students a simulated work experience in a studio environment uh, delivering information through the medium of broadcasting. Essentially, we have a new show that we do once a week here at the high school that we um, deliver to the students information about what is going on at the school um, to inform them so they can have a better idea going about their week of, of what's going on. Uh, when I first took over this program, uh, it was strictly a video production program and the, the pillar of the height of that program students went into PHTV. When I got the job uh, originally and I um, took over for Mr. Fry five years ago, our principal at the time, Mrs. Hale, kind of basically said that PHTV was the capstone of the program, the, the class that she really wanted to make sure maintain its leadership qualities throughout the school and grew from where it was started with Mr. Fry. I began my career at Phoenix High School as a social studies teacher and through that I had the opportunity of really trying to understand what the reality of film, how it relates to classes and, and how it can bring a relevancy to our educational process. We never thought that there would be a video program. We never knew that we could make movies in a high school setting. Education always changes and when education changes new electives are going to sprout forth because technology is changing. And so if you're going from social studies as a social studies teacher, I ended up uh, having a principal come to me and said, would you like to teach a video class? And I go, why, sure I'd like to teach a video class because I love to show film. It's my classes. Why not teach video? The reason that we went to video was because the photography lab that we had was set up to do film developing. So we went from VHS, then we went to mini VHS, and then we went to digital, and we went to small cameras and big cameras. We started with a $5,000 camera called her Big Bertha. We put her up on our shoulders and we were filming. We had 15 students in the first class. We went to Medford to the ESD to edit. It took us 18 weeks to edit. And we came back and we maybe, just maybe, did one show per year. He was really, really cool. He was one of my favorite teachers. I am Jesse Hitty, and I graduated in 2012. What do you think you're doing, punk? Playing video games. What does it look like? Slacking off, that's what I think you're doing. Our grade was based on the quality of the work that we did and the work was voted on by other video students in the other video classes. And based on their rating, that was our grade. We basically kept toying with a formula for a while until we got it down to science, and we just started pumping out awesome newscasts every week. And it was really fun, it was awesome. Good morning, Phoenix High School, and this is another PHTV newscast. I'm Ian Ingram. And I'm Jesse Hitty. Hope everyone is having an awesome morning, and we're here to kick it off with some announcements. Back then we had really old tech, probably an early 90s switcher board, uh, early 90s monitors, uh, very, very old tech. It still worked, 
and uh, we were able to get the job done and have some fun with it. Um, aside from the uh, modulator in the, in the back room, uh, would occasionally have problems, so if I hit it enough times, it would eventually start working again. Everything that I've learned has just been extremely helpful in where I've wanted to go in my career choices. Um, I now work in the industry of video production. I learned a lot of stuff about animation, filters, compositing, all sorts of things that would eventually lead into my current job right now. Um, and I edit the TV commercials for uh, most of Lithia's 130 stores across the United States. Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is out of control. The alien spaceship crashed and the beings inside scrambled our brains to only offer deep discounts. At Lithia, every new vehicle in stock is marked down to super low everyday prices. Right Having that knowledge that I got from being here was absolutely fundamental in where I am now. Without a doubt, PHTV was my favorite class. It was definitely one of the, if not the best class that I've ever had. This is where it all started for me. Um, this is where I found out that this is what I want to do with my life. And it's just probably the most fun I've ever had in school. I'd like to thank everybody that's been a part of PHTV. But I also want everybody that's out there to know that this does not stop. This program has gone from maybe two or three people to now an entire curriculum. People are looking at this program and you get to take it. You get to take it to the next level. You get to leave a footprint. You need to put your very, very best footprint out there. And all of us that have been a part of it, we're like pioneers. We started this, we're here, and now it's up to the next generation of technology to go forth. Pretty good. <laughs> all right. <laughs>
working on a set, I like working with people, I like just creating things. It's just a fun class, it's a fun atmosphere. What I, I like about BCB is like you can work with people to do a show or work together to make a project and stuff like that. So some challenges that I face is basically just um, trying to make sure things are as accurate as possible uh, for the best viewing experience. Uh, our cameras are a little uh, wonky, I guess you could say. I feel like with a higher quality, it'll catch more people's eye. I think PHTV could use maybe more, like more students, because currently we only have like 14 students in the class. I will uh, definitely be pursuing a career in media arts. I would consider getting a job in the media arts, specifically probably editing videos. Yes, that's actually what I'm planning on going to college for, is video editing and special effects. Yeah, um, I've, I'm going to continue taking these programs, and after high school's out, I'm going to try to get a job on a set and or a camera or something. Anything I can, really. There's a laundry list of things that I would still love to upgrade, improve, and continually evolve within this program because anytime you're working with technology, you're going to have to constantly evolve with the technology of those times. Because of my nature as a person, I never really tend to be satisfied, so it's hard for me to look at my program and say, oh, I'm satisfied because there's new equipment I want, there's new software I'd love to get, I'd love to upgrade our technology we use. So I feel like our program, there are two primary ways that we help prepare kids for life after high school. One is through our direct articulation with our local community college and the local university here in Southern Oregon, Southern Oregon University. So we're helping prepare kids by getting them those college credits, getting them on track, and getting them to understand what steps are necessary when they're in their post-secondary setting, community college and college, to earn that degree that translates into what we're doing here in our program. So that's one way. The second way we do that is through the career and technical education standards that the state of Oregon sets up, which require us to incorporate employment-based skills into how we teach. Uh, so for my program, students are graded and earn points on being able to display specific skills that employers are looking for. I would say students that really should be serious about this program are students that know that they want to get involved with media and information communication. So students who love photography, video production, who love working with computers, editing, people who like to report, people who like to know what's going on in the news that's in our community. Any student who sees themselves as a future sports center anchor, a future host of you know NBC News Tonight, a investigative journalist, somebody who wants to be a director, a producer, someone who wants to be a cameraman or a lighting specialist, an audio technician, anybody who wants to work in those creative mediums um, in any way, either in front of the camera or behind the camera, would find that my program would be a great fit for what their interests and passions are.